What is up, One Yoga family? Chad DeFries here, personal trainer for One Yoga and Fitness. Um, how are you liking this cooler, rainy day we got going on right here? Normally, I wouldn't care uh, about the rain, uh, but since we're in this COVID-19 situation and we're um, have the stay-at-home orders, I prefer to get outside and exercise, get some fresh air, whether it be going for a run or doing my exercise routine outside. Um, so, you know, this range puts a damper on things a little bit. Um, however, still outside today. I'm underneath the lanai, uh, and I thought I would share a solution for a possible problem you may have. Um, a lot of people are really worried about uh, not being able to strength train during this time uh, because of lack of weights uh, that they have at their house. Um, now, body weight exercises are perfectly fine, and um, about a week ago, I did post a video showing you a body weight uh, circuit routine that lasts 10 minutes. Uh, it's here on this YouTube channel. Um, so if you haven't done that yet, go back, watch that video, and follow that circuit routine. It's a real challenging workout. Uh, only lasts 10 minutes. You can do it as many times as you want to. Uh, but that is one great way of getting to work out using body weight only. However, I do have a lot of clients that, uh, uh, that I see and I'm still seeing now virtually that is concerned because they want to still strength train. They still want to still want to weight train to build their strength and to build that lean tone muscle. Uh, you can get some of that from body weight exercise uh, to a certain point, of course, then you have to step up and start, have to start doing, you have to push the body as it starts progressing to using weights. And a lot of my clients are already using weights, so they don't want to go back on the progress, so they want, still want to use weights. So uh, a lot of them have been concerned because they don't have weights at home. So uh, what I have recommended for all of my clients to do instead of buying weights from online um, is you go to the store and purchase seven gallon water jugs. Now the reason I recommend this is because right now during a situation with COVID-19, everybody is out looking for weights for their house and equipment for their house. Now it's a basic supply and demand. So I did have a, one client tell me a couple of days ago that she was trying to purchase a set of 12 pound dumbbells. That's it, two 12 pound dumbbells. And in order to purchase those dumbbells, have it shipped to her was gonna cost her $200. That is insane. Yes, the, the prices on these things have skyrocketed. Um, usually uh, weights will cost anything from, from a dollar to $2 a pound. So you're looking at anywhere from $25 to $48 normally for a set of dumbbells, of 12 pound dumbbells, and now they're gonna charge $200. It's crazy. So basic thing I tell people to do, water jugs. Um, now, a water jug, I weighed this before I started this video, and a basic water jug filled up this one weighs eight and a half pounds. So you can get eight and a half to nine pounds per water jug. This is a great way to add resistance to your exercise if you have no weights at home. Um, if eight and a half pounds is too much, hey, pour half the water out. You can have four pounds, you know. Um, for me, uh, when I'm exercising, I'm using the water jug stuff. I hold two water jugs in one hand to create about 18 pounds of resistance, 16 to 18 pounds of resistance. Uh, so you can have anywhere from eight to you know 18 pounds, of much water you got in it. And you can even have less if you wanted less, if you're not that strong yet, and you just want a little bit of weight. Um, so this is a perfect solution um, to a common problem that we're having right now, uh, which is obtaining weights for home. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna give you three exercises that you can do with a water jug. Now there's tons of, uh, anything you can do with a dumbbell, you can do with water jugs. Uh, however, I'm gonna give you three exercises you can do. I'm gonna show you proper form on these exercises. And I'm gonna give, give you a uh, type of circuit routine where you can do these three exercises. Now this routine that I'm gonna give you today is gonna to be primarily focused on legs, glutes and shoulders. 
Now, uh, you'll be using accessory muscles uh, to do these exercises as well. You'll be using the triceps, you'll be using core, you'll be using back, you'll be using all of them. But your primary movers uh, for this routine today is going to be legs, glutes, and shoulders. So if you're ready, I am going to show you the exercise. I'm not going to go through the entire circuit routine with you. I'm just going to show you the proper way to do these exercises. And what I would like you to do is do a pyramid type fashion for the reps. Now, if you don't know what a pyramid type fashion is, that means that you're starting at a low rep and you're gradually increasing your reps. You get your top end rep and then you come back down the opposite side to get lower reps on, on the back half of it. Um, these three exercises, if uh, you're doing them uh, slowly, controlled, everything you're supposed to be doing with these exercises, the routine should last anywhere from 15, 20 minutes. So you can repeat this routine over and over if you want more. Or if you wanted to, you can go back and do my body weight circuit routine, 10 minute circuit, and then you can do this one for 15 minutes and get you a 25 minute workout. So you can add resistance and body weight to get you a little cardio in there. So with all that being said, let me show you the exercises you'll be doing for this routine. Then I'll give you the rep ranges of what I want you to do. Here we go. Uh, first exercise is going to be a goblet squat. Now with a goblet squat, uh, basically you're going to be coming. You're going to have legs a little bit wider than shoulder width. You're going to pull the dumbbell up. Now, if you want more than one uh, dumbbell, I'm sorry, jug. If you want more than one jug, just hold each jug in each hand right here. If you're only using one, I'm just demonstrating with one today. I got plenty of uh, jugs in the house, but I'm just going to demonstrate with one jug here. I'm just going to hold the jug right here, and we're just going to go down to a goblet squat and back up. Now, when you're doing a goblet squat, you want to make sure that back stays upright. You want to push the hips back as you go down. You want to come down low. You want to push the hips, and as you come up, you want to push those hips forward and squeeze the glutes. So down, and you're pushing with the quads coming up, squeezing glutes at the, at the uh, uh, very end of the movement. So again, you want to down, up, squeeze. Down, up, squeeze. Now don't just go through the movements of just coming up and down. You want to come down, get a nice good, and squeeze. Okay. Is your first exercise. Second exercise, you're going to take your jug of water and you're going to do a kettlebell swing or a jug swing. Now you're going to hold the water jug right here at the handle. And whenever you do a kettlebell swing or a jug swing, whatever you want to call it, you're going to allow the jug to come between the legs. Now as you come down, if you're just doing this and swinging the jug up and not doing anything with the knees, you've been working all low back and we don't want that. We don't want to put any strain on the back if you're doing some power movement like this. Yes, it's going to work the back, but you're going to primarily work the hips and the glutes as we're just doing this. So when you come down, the jug comes between the leg and as you come up, snap your hips forward and that's going to propel your arms up. So you're not lifting the jug. It's going to be momentum from your hips exploding forward that will lift the jug. When you come down, you want to bend the legs to get some leg movement in there. Comes down and up. So this is what your movement will look like. As you come to the top, you want to squeeze glutes. My last come back down. That was the second exercise. Third exercise, we're going to take a knee. Opposite arm of what you're working is going to be up. One arm goes to the side. You're going to bring the water jug up. Just hold it in the handle right here. Keep your core in tight. Keep your back up straight. And you're going to do shoulder presses. You're going to complete all the reps on one side. And then you'll go to the opposite side. And there's your three exercises. Let me go over those one more time. First one, goblet squat. Squeeze glutes forward. Squeeze glutes, hips go forward. Second one, kettlebell swing. Third 
And the third one, go to the knee, arm to the side, strengthen the core, tighten all the muscles, and pressing up with the shoulder press. Then you'll go to the opposite arm, do the same thing. Now here's your rep ranges for this. Like I said, I was gonna do a pyramid type style. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna start with 10 reps. You're gonna do all three exercises for 10 reps. As soon as you get done, you're all gonna take about a 15 to 20 second rest to set yourself back up for that goblet squat again. Then you're gonna to go to 15 reps. You're gonna do all three exercises again. You're gonna to go to 20 reps. Do all three exercises again. Now you can stop at 20 reps right here, start coming back down the pyramid if you want to, but if you want to go on up, you can go to 25 reps. All right, then after you get to 25 reps, you're gonna start coming back down. 20 reps, 15 reps, 10 reps. All right, so you can have five to seven sets here. Now this should last you, like I said, about 15 to 20 minutes doing these exercises properly and watching your form. Um, but again, your rep starts at 10. 15, 20, 15, 10, or 10, 15, 20, 25, 20, 15, 10. You choose whether you want to go to that 25 or if you want to stay at the 20. Um, I will tell you that going up the pyramids and come back down the pyramids, it's a lot of reps. So this will be burning quite a bit, especially if you have a full jug here, which is almost nine pounds. So if you're going up the pyramid and starting to come back down, you start fatiguing, pour some water out. Uh, one thing I can mention also that uh, about the jugs is when you do go out and purchase a water jug, you may want to get a water jug that actually has a threaded top. Uh, simply because this one's a pop top, so I'm really careful about that. But these pop tops can come off pretty easy. And if you're exercising, pop, it pops off and <laughs> you know, get water all in the face. However, you can just, uh, I would recommend doing it with a thread top and it'll be easier. Um, it doesn't have to be a water jug, be a milk jug, or any type of containers you can put water in. So again, just the solutions you may have a problem with if you wanna do some resistance training. This is very versatile. Uh, most people have these around the house. Um, so there you go. Convenient, easy, and efficient. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, if you have any questions for me, post it below. I'll be answering all the comments below. Uh, until I see you guys in the studio, I wish you well. Stay healthy and stay safe. See you later.